Harper wants to keep running. The side will put it down, but it only takes the Agassi model VP. Side of Gorilla's Pride. What's gonna like finish, like round off their draft here? Um, like troll. Oh, gyro. gyro. Okay, okay. So looking at both of the drafts, which do you think is better? Uh, d uh hmm. Cutting it close here. She just got her bottle, manages to heal up a little bit. Um, but that was cutting it very, very close there. And first blood is drawn here in the top lane with Nyx dying. Into a tough challenge. Seems as to be well. going for them. Disruptor here. That is a really quick death there on Hoodwink uh, by this Disruptor. Disruptor is going to take them for a little bit of a. 25 HP does manage to get himself out. So Hoodwink is chasing though, but it's gonna give up there. Yeah, this this Quop is, is kind of living on the edge a little bit, and uh, you know, it's uh, it's it's interesting to see. There was a Bushwhack coming out, but uh, didn't quite hit. Oh, Quop's just gonna retreat here. Come on, run! He's trying to juke his way through and deny himself to the neutrals. So they are finding now. Jump in, and the Jarakop is caught. Sonic Wave comes through. Now actually oh, even that. misses homing missile, hits the center conqueror with it. He does spot Luna here though, he's pinging. Uh, Gyrocopter is TPing in, they're gonna go for this Luna. Nightmare Luna getting some damage in here with the homing missile coming in as well. Is Luna gonna be able to come out? No, I don't think she will be able to get out here. Lots of damage coming in from this Gyrocopter. She is running real fast though, activating her Mask of Madness. Really a desperate attempt to get out, but another Nightmare coming in. And the last hit is going to be on this Gyrocopter. Luna was just a little bit too far there. Mid lane in the meantime. Some trades coming out. Tao is going to get taken down on the Gorilla's Pride side. So they're trying to get Kara here aggressively. I mean, the Timber Saw is not really one that dies easily. Fiend's Grip holds him in place, though. They need to interrupt the Bane, but the Blink Forward from Zeus, he's going to get a homing missile chasing after him with a Snipe coming through as well. Will it connect? Oh, the Soak from Bimp. He's trying to keep his Quap alive. Blink, Zeus gets the Blink to safety. Pimp with the saving grace. Big play from the Knicks. In comes the Eclipse, but it's a level one Lucent Beam, so it does like tickle damage. Luckily enough, the Vendetta Strike is enough to still secure the kill. Luna there, there's a smoke coming in on Lina Bane and Hoodwink, and a stun coming in from Lina. I'll miss Luna. Luna gets shackled here, gets ulted, and just gets absolutely bombarded by those three heroes. In cast range added on top. Which, yeah, it's pretty decent. They're all in the jungle now. I think they're going to go for a fight here. They caught this Tidehunter. Disruptor ult coming in as well. Nyx kind of running around, getting some damage too. Timbersaw coming in. Tidehunter ult though, getting that stun on at least four heroes. Uh, is he going to be able to do much else oh, with it? Now, Doesn't look like it. Doesn't look like it. But in the back line, this Nyx Assassin dies. This Quop dies. So that is definitely very good for the side of G Pride here. Uh, Are they going to stick around? Without the uh, Ravage is kind of a problem for Deep Right. They will be able to catch out the Disruptor, but that is a sacrifice you're willing to take for the tower. Not taken. They're looking for Tau. Can the Lina respond in time? Glim sends back. The Hoodwink is going to get caught out. Nightmare save attempted. Ravage gets blown. Dismark turns around, stays alive. Snipe onto the Timber Shot, takes him down. And they find a triple. Sonic Wave with the Eclipse isn't enough damage. No, the Fiend's Grip during the BKB. Nothing you can do. Stun onto the Queen of Pain. Trying to run away. LSA gonna connect. Queen, can she blink to safety? Jumps up the high ground. Will actually find the only kill for Interitus so far. And Soothe will try to disengage further, but... The Nightmare gets bounced all over the place. Disruptor, you're going to be sacrificed for the greater good. And that greater good is Kara on the tide. Just I'll dodge the LSA, but there's no silences reached on the side of G Pride. So it might just been a conscious choice to pick up the BKB instead. But uh, Manta Style, even though it is a great way to dispel, it also does add in some farming potential. Things and Yeah, exactly. How are you going to stop this? Where are the big ultis? They got the Sonic Wave. Saxon Kinetic Field, the BKB on Luna is enough. Ravage gets blown though in return. Big Sonic Wave pushes the dire heroes back, but now he's healing up very quickly, popping his flat cannon and going ham, and they just lose a lot of HP. Hijack even gets Lagoon at. The plus side is 
Ooh, Lina just got blown up. Gyrocopter. Are we gonna stay here though? He is. He still has ages for 30 seconds. He's definitely really wanting to get these mega creeps. And is he gonna be able to though? Because well, his team here. is uh, slowly dying. Uh, Lina almost has LSA again. Luna as well. Will they be able to get a connection? It's very close to finishing up the racks. Get those megas. Fall back if necessary. Or just continue and finish up the game. Blink on to Tau. Bought out. And Tau and now just hammering down the entire Interitus lineup. Forced back in towards that fountain. With megas against them in 26 minutes. Sparks. Mm. Yeah. Might be. Yeah. Might be GG at this point. This gyrocopter is an absolute beast. Yeah, there's uh, the GG call. GG, well played, but uh, Gorilla Strike definitely felt a lot more in control this entire game, especially if you look at the... Yeah, I love that. I love, you know, Snapfire ult, great, Kunkka combos, Disruptor ult, Mars Arena, Invoker, anything. I uh, I love to see that. And then Ursa pick up on the side of Interitus. Um... Not, not quite sure about, like, why do you think Ursa is a good pickup here for them? Or hit here by this hood Is he gonna dagger? He's relatively tanky. He's stuck. Uh, uh. Is he? He's clicking. He's clicking for dear life. He wants to get that kill, but he doesn't even get the kill and he dies for this. Definitely, uh, you know, the first death on Kunkka, which is kind of what they need to be doing there. And this Disruptor gonna take a lot of damage as well. Getting shackled to that tree. Is he gonna get out? He runs back for some reason and, and, and then dies. And this Kunkka is now alone versus these two heroes again. Well, uh, speaking of which, Disruptor is about to die. Considering you're up against two heroes with a lot of physical damage between them. Really just rotating a lot. This Mars getting caught out. Damage here from the Ursa and the kill on Ursa as well, which is very, very good for them. Uh, yeah, the Storm Spirit is, uh, yeah, he hit level 6 and now he's become uh, quite a menace. Died as well. Looking to get taken down. Jenna gets the kill and... Yeah, it's a lot of annoyance. Kara's gonna get jumped though, and in the end, FCR, together with Sue, will be able to secure the kill. Arena was thrown out, now throws the ghost ship down onto the Earth, so that would be a big kill, and it does get secured. Backline jump, trying to get rid of the disruptor. It is successful. Storm also has enough mana to zip in. He's actually gonna zip in aggressively, going for that Voker. Now needs to be careful, because his entire fight's pretty much toggling, but he's got the X Mark Tarrant combo to catch out Sue's. Or he sits right on top of no, and no, he stays alive. Armlet toggles his way to victory on this Kunka. He's dancing with death, and he is still not losing. Looking for that armlet toggle target. Oh, there we go, another toggle coming in. He's never going to die. Man is immortal. So FCR is rejoining. Now, just keep on toggling, whatever happens. <laughs> now is actually just toying with the the entire game. Playing with his food. Zip in, Sue goes deep. But now is the target. Will they be able to at least have enough damage to finally take care of the Kunka? This oh, time the him. toggle will not be successful. There is no ulti for the Ursa though, which is a downside. Riskis is coming in. Disarm as well. Ursa needs to be careful. He pops his Fury Swipes and he wants to get back in onto the fight where the Voker is in a tough spot. In comes the Mars from behind, gets a smack on FCR is taken care of. Soons is out of mana, but it doesn't matter because the Ravage is still available. They cannot help that fight. They're really just uh, trying to get this fight going around the Roche pit. Oh, Shara is going to get jumped by Soons. A lot of damage coming in. The snipe doesn't connect. Hijack has the Ravage. He's trying to get a good catch. And they will go for the Mars. Static Storm Kinetic Field comes out, but it's a hasted BKB Storm Spirit. You can't catch him, but you can catch the Ursa. He's taken down. That's a huge kill. Kara is not even dead yet. Soon, trying to get rid of the entire backline single handedly, but without the Ursa, the damage is lacking. He bought back, but Ursa has to go for a very long sprint to joy rejoin the fight. In the meantime, Tao and the gang are just picking off everyone on the side of Interitus. And the enemy's team fight might just really wreck them here on along the Roche pit. Uh, they really want to go for a pickoff here, though. They're running into their jungle. Kara, again, the first one to be jumped every single time. Ravage gets blown. They find the kill onto Kara. Deep Flash taking a lot of damage in the process. Storm zips to safety, gets glimpsed back in the loving embrace again of the Radiant side, but will be able to zip to safety. This time, FCR gets a very big pickoff. <laughs> He's joining up with this Storm Spirit, though. 
they really want to get this disruptor and I think this, this disruptor is definitely dying here. Uh, doesn't take a lot to kill this disruptor here. He was very much alone, you know, trying to do something with that. No, Jenic, and not disruptor. Again. again. Dragged into the sentry ward range. Oh, sadness. Told you a storm mm. was coming. The Ravage Not available on the high ground. Time. Tornado does connect though. B can be popped. Can they lock down twos? They're trying to soothe the dropping. Oh, he gets the zip yeah. back just barely, but he still takes down. Dismar gets the kill. And that is uh, Storm dead for 80 seconds. D flash, Ogre Magi. You just bought back previously. Another one dead on the side of Intertus. And uh, yeah, they're starting to. One there as well. Are they going to? Nice. No, not quite. Not quite. Arena onto the tides, trying to lock him down. We've got the Static Storm Kinetic Field. Hijack Tide has a Ravage available. Actually doesn't have the mana for a Ravage just yet. And oh, he's just going to die. Luckily enough, it takes two minutes for Rose to respawn. Glimpse back. Soothes going in onto Jenic again. They're tra pretty much just train focusing down the Disruptor. But the Ursa Enraged needs to use it. If he wants to stay alive, the problem is can't even stay alive with that point. Oh, Spooder legs get him out of reach. Actually, Soothe's on the side, almost dying to Tau. Is he gonna take down Spit Vessel? Ooh, he just barely survives. And especially considering there's a storm on the other side with the BKB. You always have to be careful, uh, careful that he doesn't catch you. Sag Storm connect. Oh, the big catch! The Hex coming through! The double kill! And they managed to smack him down completely, absolutely, utterly. Destroyed. Pimp in the tree lines is gonna get spotted. Speared. Struck by the sunlight and taken down. A full team wipe in the end. It might be uh, very specific and they might not have a lot of chances, but Ooh. they're gonna keep trying. Yep, that's a nice buyback for Stout. Ursa comes charging in. FCR. But uh, they don't have any invis detection right there, so whew, takes a big old whip by now. Glim sends him back. There's the storm zip. Trying to get the control on the Voka. A lot of damage. Tao on the run gets invis. They don't have invis they detection. Have Why is the dust not there? And Kara drops his arena. Stacks don't connect. Kill the tide. Has a ravage, but does it matter? No, because he is going to die before he can pop it. No buyback available either. In three seconds, he can come back on the tide. But they are losing a lot. Storm at least gets the zip in to get rid of. The Voker, but who cares about the Voker dying if the rest of the team is still alive? GG gets called, and that is it. That is Gorilla's Pride with the 2 null beating against Interrogus, putting themselves 4 and 1, which means, I think, if I'm not mistaken.